Hello, hello, and welcome to uh, Liberty MTG's FNM stream. Um, so this is, I think, week three of us doing this uh, from home uh, Friday Night Magic. Um, a few of us are streaming, so if you haven't seen any of the other videos already, then go ahead and check them out if you want different decks, different perspectives. Um, basically, yeah, I mean, a few of us are doing it. Uh, tonight I am playing a uh, deck built by Jeff Hoogland. It's uh, a little bit of self-mill, utilizing Croxa as a win condition. A um, little bit different uh, from the deck that I was playing last week, but a lot of similar cards. Uh, this time we're not using the Wanderer or um, Command of the Dreadhorde. It's more focused on just streamlining, getting Croxa out, and snacking our opponent for big numbers. All right, so it seems that my opponent's um, my opponent's client is lagging. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and just uh, talk about the deck list a little bit. Um, let's see. Pull that up really quick. Nope, and there we go. Okay, that's fine. So you can see here. Um, We've got a couple Croxes in hand. This looks like it's very keepable. Uh, we also have a Meyer Triton and a Timoret. Um, these are both cards that are going to help us self-mill to try to get these escapes as soon as possible. Uh, we don't know what our opponent's playing at, but this looks pretty good. Temple of Epiphany, okay. I'm seeing a Temer deck. The Devil. I do not mind seeing that draw. Tenor. Growth Spiral. Natural. Oof. Play the one Croxa here. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to Croxa next turn or not. I'm thinking it's probably more of a Timorite Calls the Dead turn, to be honest. I think so. They got rid of a mystical dispute. Okay. Not sure what that means. Okay. What are we playing on four? Yikes. It's gonna rub a forest, I bet. And does he play anything on his turn? Uro. Oh, well. Hmm. We super don't mind that. And does he play anything on his turn? Oh, well. hmm. Yeah, super that's that. pretty good for us. One opt, okay. Timorite calls the dead up. Start milling some cards. That was a tragic misclick, folks. I did not, uh, I was just uh, clicking through. Did not mean to exile my Proxa. That was really bad. Wick, okay. Decline. Axe of Agonis is going to be some card draw that we try to utilize later on. Um, not going to do it right now, though. Oof. Okay. So I guess play here is just... Get rid of Gadwick. 
Guy will probably bring Uro back next turn. Such an absolutely brutal misclick. Oh, man. Such an absolute... I'm trying to think of the other... It's just, he's going to keep getting so many cards in his hand is the big problem. It's just going to be tough for us to keep up. He's going to play something else this turn. It's crucial. Scorching Dragonfire on a zombie. Don't mind it at all. Um, Fabled Passage here. Doesn't really matter what we grab, I suppose. Probably want more red sources, though. Uh, I'll bedevil now so that there's no room for counter spells. Doesn't have enough to escape him again. That's good. Okay, that's what we. It was a big gambit, but we got what we were looking for. And we'll see what this guy's options are. If he has a filled mystic in hand, that's an obvious hold. For when I try to cast uh, Croxa, but um, that would basically stop him from doing a lot of things on his turn. Yeah, neat. For when I try to cast Croxa, just do that. And we'll try this. Okay, seems like he does not have a counter. It's pretty interesting. Don't need the Agonis. Start milling more cards. Oh, he's in the gate. Fine, fine. Start milling more cards. Um, oh, he's in the gate. We're about to start dealing damage, is the thing. Fine. Fine. So now we get to Croxa and Ox of Agonis. So, they didn't get a Wilderness Reclamation or whatever it is they're hoping for. No card draw. Okay, that is two top, so that's a little spooky. Great. Perfect. Uh, we'll go ahead and do this. Mm. Attack with the Mire Triton first. We'll play Ox. Lexile. Timurite calls the dead. Fabled Passage. Uh, the Devil. We really want to get the Instance of the Sorceries first, actually. Definitely want to focus on those. Uh, instant Sorceries and Lands. Oh, wait, is that enough? Do we actually have enough to do both of these? No, we don't. So we're only going to do one. We'll do Croxa. Uh, land, land, instant, sorcery. Land. Make him delete whatever that card is. Mystical Dispute. See what answers he has. See what answers he has. Yeah, there's two tops, so he's going to draw something that he wanted to keep up there. Another Uro. Hmm, it's interesting. I'm not sure if I would have kept that on top myself, but... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's pretty good. Because he's definitely not going to want to block the robber, huh? Uh, 
Oh, that was uh, that was a mistake, huh? So I should have ordered those triggers there. Should have let the robber trigger first, because oh, obviously Crocs that was, uh, that was mistake, huh? deletes. The uh, the card in his hand. So he doesn't even get to play these anymore. These are just dead. Unless he gets some weird card draw, I guess like a growth spiral then an opt or something. Oh, that's game. Okay, despite making several goofy mistakes and not being very good at piloting this deck, that's the first game. That's gonna be it. Cool, cool. All right, so what do we think we want here? Ritual of Soot, if there are Nissas, absolutely. So Ritual of Soot hits uh, Nissa lands and Uro. Scorching Dragonfire. It's potentially got high loyalty Planeswalkers being Nissa. So Scorching Dragonfire doesn't seem like it would do a lot. Because she's only, she really wants a plus one. She's never going to be low enough that this actually kills her. Uh, Ferragos Libation. Making him sacrifice a creature or an enchantment. Mm. I don't know about that. I'm not sure. I know that the duresses seem good. Um, we like these Ashioks here because they stop them from bringing Uros back. Um, maybe take out a Timurid Calls the Dead. Uh, we definitely like our Murderous Riders over Devil's Land or Eat to Extinctions. We like the Agonizing Remorses. Robber of the Rich. Uh, maybe that's a little less good. I'm not sure. This is kind of a hard call for me right now. Uh, so we're on the draw as well, huh? 26 lands in here. Uh, not a lot of time left. Guess we'll just experiment. We'll take out a single single ritual of soot um, since we only saw those uros and we're going to be we're hopefully going to be taking care of them with our ashiox or our agonizing remorses um, it's possible that um, the board clear is less relevant again we, we didn't see anissa so we're technically not sure if it's in there that looks super duper oh yes turn one duress please Wait, he... I'm on the play. Wow, that's very good. That's so good. I'm on the play. Wow, that's very good. Um, us being on the play means that a robber is a little bit better. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's still... Because Opt draws a card. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Us being on the play means that a robber is a little bit better. Jeez, man, I'm, it's like Miss Click City today. Let's see something useful. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I guess a flash deck, that's, like, a really good thing um, to take. Doesn't seem like this guy's flash, though, so probably doesn't matter so much. Scorch and Dragonfire. Wow, buddy. I'm taking all the good stuff. Let's play one of these. It's already down to 12, so might as well apply some pressure. Uh, especially since I still have a murderous rider in hand. It's a giant. That's not gonna protect you. Especially since I still have a murderous rider in hand. That's not gonna protect you. Doesn't appear to have the mana for the storm's wrath, so. 
Just tried to go in for lethal now. See if we get it. Doesn't appear to have the mana for the storm draft, so just try to go in for lethal now. See if we get it. You got the wrath. That's a fast uh not a wrath. Alright, GG's. Good game. Okay, uh, fairly quick round one. Um, I kind of fudged the opening of this video, but hopefully I don't get the ending so bad. Um, so if you liked this, you know, uh, this is what we're going to be doing until we're able to go back out into the world and play paper events. Uh, Liberty MTG is primarily a paper FNM channel. Um, so typically on a Friday night, we're doing a real FNM, uh, actual random players who are playing against each other. Um, but for the time being, we're going to keep doing this. Like I said earlier, uh, there are other players tonight, um, so you can definitely go on to Liberty's YouTube channel, uh, scroll around there, find the other players, watch their videos too. Um, definitely hit that subscribe button as well. And if you like watching this stuff live, then go to twitch.tv slash LibertyMTG and subscribe, because as we record all these videos for YouTube, we also live stream them on Fridays. So um, yeah, I come back for round two. See you soon. So long.